Yo, what's up, guys? Today, we're watching the finale of the most requested series on the channel's history. Mega Mind, Mind Rules! And if you want us to watch some actually good DreamWorks movies, then comment them down below. Go to our Patreon for exclusive content in the uncut version of this video. And subscribe so you don't miss the next Mega Mind watch through. We're gonna do it again. We're watching the whole show twice in a row. Come on, chum. It's scary. It's got a big mouth. Big Mouth, nice reference there. Why did you become more Canadian for that? Cor, would you rather watch this show or Big Mouth? Big Mouth. Be honest. Big Mouth is the quickest <laughs> Big Mouth. So this is like regular Guess That Thing, but with electric shocks. They removed her polygons. Like her character model is so much less detailed than the movie. <laughs> Every time one of the characters is unfunny, they should remove one subdivision on the model. Like they just slowly turn into a cube. <laughs> they just turn into like Mario 64 graphics by the end of the show. Piranhas? Bear traps? You guys have the weirdest friendship ever. Friendship? They're f***ing. You're still here? Don't you turn back into a bale of hay at sundown? How much seating is in this room? There's two couches. That other couch wasn't there until they <laughs> needed it for the shot. You leave your manners at the door. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, look at how many couches there are. In the <laughs> oh my god, it's like a circle of couches. Megamind has no friends. Bro has like 10 couches for no reason. Oh, Mr. Schlurg Peterman might give me extra, extra credit. Mr. Schlurg Peterman. Peterman. That's the funniest part of this whole show so far. <laughs> Hold on a second. Burp McSlurp Esquire? Fun! Oh my god, Fun's is a teacher now. <laughs> huh? Megamind, what a surprise! Dude, Megamind's sitting in the c chair for today's episode, bro. Meet my work husband. He's uh, six inches taller than you. You know, because you and Roxy are a thing. We're not a thing. Are they just like pretending that the movie didn't happen or something? Oh my god, so stupid. Have you told Roxy you think she's the goodest? Which is adorable, by the way. I hate her! I hate her! She doesn't talk like a child. That's what I hate the most. No, the problem with characters like that is that they talk like a child most of the time. And then whenever the writer needs them to talk not like a child, they just talk not like a child. But she doesn't talk like a child ever. If you wanted them to be a real 10 year old, what do you want them to talk about? Like, can you please send me $5 on Apple Pay so I can pay for robots? Yes, yes that would be relatable. That's funny. You just described a better show. Someone scamming Megamind would be amazing. We were bunkmates at Camp Turkey Neck. Oh. This is so bad. This is embarrassing. Do people eat anywhere else besides this donut shop? Or is this the only <laughs> restaurant in the entire town? Why is it everyone morbidly obese? Everyone <laughs> is just eating donuts all day long. The only thing they consume is empty carbs. I'd say he's not normally like this, but my nose would start growing. <laughs> like Pinocchio. They explained it. Even a four-year-old child who had just been spawned that day would understand the fucking Pinocchio joke. I think people come out of the womb understanding what Pinocchio is. This is the opposite of normal. <gasps> it was so crazy. Oh, she sucked all the air out of that room. Roxy may be a tad displeased with me. If you could fill a city bus with a tad, then yes. If you could fill a city bus with a tad. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, who the fuck wrote this? Legitimately, this episode feels the most chat GPT so far. Must find new mega mine. That's us looking for the new show, but we're like, this can't be the new show. It can't be this bad, please. Must find Will Ferrell. Must find original actor for character. Speed is relative, Gago. This is not the time for relaxation. Why is he still holding the electrocution thing? They're letting him drive high right now. Not Megamind. It was just parked in the middle of the street, blocking the <laughs> road. It, it wasn't driving. It was just sitting there. What the fuck was that? They knew no one was going to watch this far into the fucking show, man. Processing. Processing. Analyzing new data. Asian woman who is annoying. Must eradicate now. Must eradicate now. The viewers hate her. Kill, kill. Let's play a game. How about guess that thing? Oh, they're going to blow him up. That's sad. I don't think he deserves to die just because he's a little clingy. I think everyone who is even the slightest bit clingy deserves instantaneous death. I can't. You'll have to preserve. Literally, this episode is about, like, giving up the drug. Decelerate to slow their fall. Ugh, I see you paid 
some attention in science class. She made a fucking robot. What the fuck is she talking? Like the idea of deaccelerating, slowing a fall would require her paying attention in science class and not just having basic knowledge of anything. What's the point of anything anyway? Mr. Schlurg Peterman. <laughs> <laughs> they got me. They got me. Unless he throws that ball, you fail. <sighs> she programmed a robot that was so complex it wants to kill itself from the pressure. I feel like that should be enough to complete the assignment. I don't like that. Recognize a good thing. Was she just like grabbing his boob there? Rec recognize a good, a good thing. thing. She recognized a good thing. Sure, you and I have some not so fun memories, but who cares? Are they gonna get together or not? Like, I'm genuinely fucking pissed off. If they don't have a child together by the end of the show, like this is a zero out of 10. Seriously, <laughs> like if she doesn't impregnate Megamind. If we don't see a little blue baby coming out of Megamind's womb, I'm gonna be fucking livid. Always a pleasure making a fool out of you, Megamind. And thanks for the isotopes. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Editor, easiest job on the planet. Is his brain broken? How would we tell? That was me though, because like I love sleeping. I love being in my bed and I love drinking coffee. I've got his beloved binky right here. First of all, he uses a binky. Like a little baby. Why did she say it like that? <laughs> like a little baby? Dude, she sounded 30 when she said that line. Bro's gonna start telling me about the Great Depression. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. Back in my day, we didn't even have binkies. We had to suck in our own thumb. We didn't have binkies. We just gave the kid a little bit of mercury. Sir, you should be in bed relaxing. Here, take your binky. The bimbofication and infantilization of Megamind in this show is like actually problematic. Should be admired. It's problematic. Oh, I, I was gonna think it should be studied. Like they're doing such a great job with it. I wanted like more shows to do it. Yeah, we just get perpetually more and more reboots of all our favorite characters where they show the characters and slowly turn them into annoying little babies. I want the new season of Velma to have Velma turn into like a really dumb like baby person. That literally would happen though. Like she'd put the binky in her mouth and be like, oh, I feel like such a baby right now and then she'd start twerking on a yeah, dead yeah, body. Yeah, yeah. Corey, you just gave the editor <laughs> the funniest out of context clip <laughs> fucking imaginable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, very handsome. I shall call you Chum too. Too much Chum. Oh my god, that's what the episode is. They could have just had one of them and that would have been enough. That would have been too much. The whole show would have been too much. <laughs> the show already has too much Chum. And his name should have been Minion. Congratulations. Wait over there. And next. Wait, what was that hat? You see that <laughs> background character for two seconds? They had the fucking most insane backwards cap of all time. You know it's true in the backwards cap. <laughs> oh, <Yo>, so true. <laughs> Editor, play the clip. You know it's real when the backwards cap. Whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was going to slap her ass. I really <laughs> thought he was going to slap her ass. I would never leave anything in the hands of... Well, you. This character fucking sucks. She's just like an older Keiko. They'll be trapped. Yes, I'm on the edge of my seat. Me too, bro. Me too. I'm on the edge right now, guys. I'm on the edge right now. This show is like a Gooner's worst nightmare because like Megamind is just so hot. Or maybe it's a Gooner's paradise. I spend all my life living in a Gooner's paradise. Uh, there, there. Do you think there's like Megamind content farms out there? That's what we are. That's what we are. <laughs> Why am I hearing more than one chum? That's too many chums. Let me make a wild guess here. Chum made a clone because he needed help and that clone made more clones. Let me make a, a wild guess here. Guess us the entire episode. <laughs> Why did you stop there? Keep talking. Let's hear the resolution. How, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. How fucking strong is this girl? Yeah, wait, hold on. That, those... This girl is not... Okay, there's wheels. It has wheels. It has oh, wheels. Wait, it has wheels. Uh, statement retracted. It has wheels. I rescind my previous comment. This show is actually incredible and brilliant. And voila! Barbie. Oh my god, it's just like Barbie. This too has an annoying sassy child. Dude, I'd rather watch the sassy child than Barbie a million times before watching fucking Keiko from this show. I'm so pissed that we remember her name. It would be fucked up if we didn't. There's only four fucking characters. We watch so many shows, like so many good shows, and we don't remember a character's name. And then we watch fucking Megamind Rule. We watch fucking Megamind versus the Skylanders. <laughs> 
please end well. Please end well. You know what I think makes you not like the character, Core? She's annoying. I feel like she thinks it's her show. True. Like, it's not your show. This is a mega mind show. She's giving, like, Sierra from Total Drama World Tour. No, 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 yes, no. Okay. She is. Yes, she is. Relax. I think you're forgetting just how angry that character made you. A great big chum. Keiko, isn't this the most wonderful dream? Editor, can you just animate like- Editor, can you make this good? Editor, can you like make Megamind red? And then- You want us to like, you shift the whole video like an M. Lemon video? Welcome. He destroyed the streets again. I can't get to work. Holy shit, that guy's gonna die. Megamind might need some top-notch assisting right about now. You take the tickets. Did Chum give her his phone number? Call me on my Chum phone. Call me on my Chum phone. Late night when you need, need my, my chum. 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 Actually, it was real, sir. It all happened. We're too late. Bro took a 30 second power nap and he's back to work. That is America's <laughs> strongest commuter right there. Average Amazon employee. Don't crush Mr. Donut. Wait, Mr. Donut was in a car wearing the donut suit. That must be so frustrating to get into the car. Why is he even in the fucking show anymore? Why is he driving to work in the costume? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> How did he fit in the car? Wait, are they telling him to go kill himself in the water? Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Wait, they just told them to leave? There's so many problems in this show that are solved by them just having the villain leave. <laughs> like, they don't lock them up or kill them. They just said, go swim somewhere else. Not our problem. The binky is the key to my entire plan. I forgot about that guy. If you want something done right, you have to get someone- Kill the child! They're gonna kill the child! Yes! Happy <laughs> birthday, girl! Oh, you got me a drone? Yes, drone comedy! Yes, yes, yes! And me? I have a very big surprise. It's a, a very surprising thing, even. But you had a teacher, the hairbrush guy. Oh, no, but she's gonna go with the hairbrush guy. Who the fuck is the hairbrush guy? <laughs> Machiavillian, the brain guy. He's the main villain of Megamind Rule. This show has a main villain? I borrowed this. Boom, disguise generator. Wait, she's gonna disguise herself as like a short version of Megamind? Are they gonna sell that at like stores now? Mini Megamind? Megamind just put Shadow Boy in the slammer, so... <laughs> oh no, it, it grows you? What? I'm gonna call the cops on you, then I'll be the one laughing. Wait, is that the donut guy? Isn't Wait, that, no, that's that the was the old mayor. mayor. Of all the villains I could have impersonated, I picked the one that gets chores. Eden loves this show so much he keeps leaving the recording. Like it's sorry, sorry, my ceiling fan. There was it was like Oh yeah, okay. Oh shit. Oh my god. There's an emergency over there. I have to go do something. Oh no. I'll tell you what's going on. I'm the real 99s. This is such brain rot. I feel like I, I'm becoming less intelligent. I feel like I'm like I'm watching like the gotcha life videos. This is Roblox story time content. I genuinely think you'd learn more from one of those videos than watching the show. Let me go again. What is going on? <gasps> Machiavelli! Brain guy! Beautiful. Oh. Mind if I take a little taste? Who runs like that to someone that is one foot in front of them? Oh my god. They just cycled through the animation choices they had for the walk cycle and picked that one. Oh, give me a break. A cardboard cutout of a cake. What? It was a cardboard cutout? What the fuck? This is the funniest thing that happened in the entire show. The cake being fake. Oh my god, the cake was a lie. No fucking way, bro. Kill me. Kill me, kill me, kill me. I've been taking online classes and my food is much more edible. Edibles? Make some edibles. Oh my god, they make an edible cake. And not an edible cake, but an edible cake. And they give it to the child. And then she trips balls and has a panic attack it is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance keiko oh and then she's gonna be like tara like she's gonna get trained by the villain because she's like i wanted to be like you megamind but you wouldn't take me under your wing how could it be that bad <sighs> there was fence <laughs> there was fence and fence <laughs> I just don't understand the writer's room for this episode. It's like neither side of what's going on in this episode is particularly worthy of being the main focus of an episode. I don't have an hour. 
I'm giving the Doomers the fake. The, the Doomers! <laughs> the Doomers? What's more tickly than your armpit? Please, no, not my ears! <laughs> oh, this is gross. Why is this so much gross? This feels like a, like a torture fetish thing going on here. This does feel like fetishistic in a really unpleasant way. The fact that he can't move. And the quality of the animation, like it just gives, you know, homemade creation. It's giving the Oscar goes to Drake standing up gift. That's all I'm saying, bro. No, I was faking. You really think I'd swallow something you cooked? <laughs> Sorry, my brain was like, swallow, don't make a joke, don't make a joke. Power up the regeneration machine! Oh my god, the Spider-Man scene. Remember that? That was the best part of the show. Mayor, we are oh, remember the snow globe? Oh my god, that was the best part of the show. We not only managed to get the isotopes we needed to fuel the machine. No, dude, this is actually what's crazy because like their plan has been going on in the background the entire show. Home just show actually has lore. I hate to interrupt your long cliche villain explanation, but I just gave you a fake binky, dude. Why would you say that? Like after she said, explicitly said, hate to interrupt your long cliche explanation, she then proceeded to do the most cliche thing possible. What is this ambition right now? That was like the first scene in this entire show that actually had any attempt at creative camera work. You will double cross your friends. No way, bro. No fucking way. She's a genius. Don't tell me she's goaded. No, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That's actually fucking cracked. That was actually fucking cracked that she actually pulled that shit off. When swapping out fake binkies for real ones. It was meaningless anyways, because he already swapped out. She fucked up. Your very own cake. She really shouldn't have. Believe me. Keiko's voice acting is so serious in this scene, and then Mega Mind just sounds like that. He's so blissfully ignorant. And the music is so corny. This is like fucking Naruto crying on the swing right now. This music's swelling. A hero costume? What? Ew. The Ew. Fuck is that? that looks fucking Ew. Ew. <laughs> What is that? I got you a shitty tracksuit. I didn't think they could make something that looks worse than a pre existing outfit. The key to super villainy is presentation. Oh, oh my fucking God. What <laughs> is that fucking thing? Jesus. I said music. Ew. His body proportions are all fucked up too. His neck is so long. His arms are so short. His torso's really long. His chest is really wide. Everything else is skinny. Who the fuck modeled that disgusting creature? We need to tell Sir as soon as possible. It was my mistake. I need to be the one to tell him. I'm starting to think Keiko might be the least annoying character in this now, show. Now, 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 now. It's genuinely not true. I think the secretary is the best character. The secretary, we were <laughs> shitting on her so hard. She has purpose and direction in her life, and I respect that. You're just in time to see your entrance. Wait a second. You're supposed to be at the comet ceremony. What is he eating, though? Eating. Coffee? It's a cup full of coffee beans. He crunches on them in the morning. <laughs> I was talking about chum. Because, um... <laughs> Gotcha. Go! Do. Do. He literally did a Homer no. Simpson there. Dude, he should be like Homer Simpson and start beating the child in his life. Who wants to save our city? Only a gay person could have this much production value. <laughs> no straight person is putting in this much effort. For real. Like, I didn't get the gay coding when he was just a brain. Is that like some truly beautiful, like anti-homophobic messaging? Gay people have like the same brain as normal people. No, gay people have an evil brain. That's what the show's saying. Oh. Nothing looks to be amiss, sir. This is the GTA 5 observatory. I've been here. I've been here in GTA 5. Oh, this villain trick in the book. You zap the one in the middle. He has a debilitate option in his gun. What does it do? <laughs> like take away their ability to walk? Just puts them in a wheelchair for the rest of their life? It dislocates every bone in their body. What happened? Was I victorious? Someone says victorious? Yeah, would you guys rather watch Victorious or this show? Last time we watched Victorious, I think we all had mental breakdowns. I guess the difference is like watching Mega Mind is bad, but watching Victorious feels like I'm complicit in something truly evil. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
This is my brain after watching the Megamind show. <laughs> What's an inspirational testament to the power of teamwork? He's got a beautiful profile, though. I'm pretty sure people get surgery to have his nose. He's just a beautiful man. The high elf ears. I might be growing on him. Yeah, you, you can have him, bro. You can have him. He's all, he's all yours. He's all yours. Have him. He's right there. He's low-key Yas Queen. He's legitimately hot. He would win like a RuPaul drag race. You know he straights out of his business. <laughs> Instead of destroying the transmitter, your laser knocked the comet off course. Oh my god, he's gonna piss on the moon! He can't win! Can't you just beat him like you did last time? What if Metro Man came and Brad Pitt reprised his role? What if actually Brad Pitt came in for this shitty peacock show? And on that lie, I went from being an ordinary villain to a super one. What did he do? He cheated on his finals. Okay, so he's every student during COVID. Okay, <laughs> cool. He asked ChatGPT to write his final exam. Okay, cool. He's every student nowadays. And he killed his professor, but like, you know. Yeah, okay. He's every fucking like NYU student. Hey, Comet! This one's for the dinosaurs. Yo, that's actually, that That was actually a good line. That was honestly the best writing in the whole fucking show right there. That was fucking fire. The idol standing. Oh my God, we're going to die. Woo! Oh God, if only I could do something besides this generic idol animation. Woo! No one's running. Woo! They've all accepted their fate. There's something I regret never telling you. What is it? Oh my God, oh my God, they're gonna fuck. You are fear not. Gay people. My binky. I desperately hope that this ends in a season two cliffhanger. That doesn't make any sense. Considering the size and speed of that meteor, it would not be stopped by that small obstacle. And also the shrapnel would be killing all of them. It exploded into pieces. They should be dead. Sir, we've been looking all over the city for you. Oh, <laughs> that frame is kind of hard as hell, though. That, this is Evangelion, bro. This is the end of Ava right now. I gave Maki a villain your binky. <laughs> <laughs> Out of context, that is so funny. You can't say that and then play dramatic music. I wouldn't blame you if you never wanted to see me again. I'm nothing but trouble. <laughs> She is written like a 25-year-old with serious trauma. I'm nothing but trouble. He destroyed the power grid to disable any emergency response. You know, Makia villain kind of looks like a has-been hotel beta character. One that would have gotten like scribbled out, but they at least considered. That's an insult to every gay person. Oh, it's all lies. All of it. Makia villain specialty. Megamind's next nemesis in the season two is fake news. Isn't that crazy? How did Megamind show turn into Spider-Man 2? I have no choice but to declare Megamind cringe. We still have one card left to play. It actually ends with a season two no bait. No way. It ends no, 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 oh my God. God. Fucking way. You gotta oh be kidding me. My There's no God. fucking way. And you know the craziest thing? We are probably the only people in the world who know that. No one else has made it to the end of the Mega Mind show. And if you guys want us to watch season two when it comes out, hopefully it doesn't, get this video to a certain amount of likes. Aeromare, Alex McLean, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Andrew Husky, Arachnidroid, Aaron Tates, and Atomic Leon Bento, Blake Rivera, Kane Rivers, Tom Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Grenados, Gub Stargazer, Gurney Snile Yernison, Happy and Egg, Helio, Histrionics Ribbler, Honor Pearson, Hummus, Hydropon, Isaiah. Alfred, K99, Kamui, King of the Street, Lilac Moon, Loka Pegged, Brett Hand, Michael Rodriguez, Milan Zekanovic, Merck, Native, Omega Waffles, Oscar Annis, Pablo the God, Patrick Case Randolph, Pizza Loving Panda, R. Dizel, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rathoka, Quinn Christian, Sam, Skyler is Milk's Mama, Kieran Sills, Tyler Russell, Valak Explicit, Victoria.